The actuator is supplied with a three-position selector knob located on the top cover assembly. The knob assembly has a locking catch to enable the control knob to be padlocked in position. Click on each hotspot to learn about the three positions. Run. With the selector knob in the run position, the actuator will respond to hardwired remote control commands. During commissioning or diagnostic procedures using PDA or smartphone Bluetooth enabled devices, the actuator may not be operated remotely. Note, when stop or run is selected, the control knob will rotate between the two positions without having to depress the locking catch. It is also possible to lock the selector in the run only positions. Stop. With the selector knob in the stop position, no electrical operation is possible. With the selector knob in the test position, an auto test routine will be initiated. This is a quick method of testing the actuator's ability to control its output independent of the external control system. The actuator will perform a series of step and cycle routines centered around the last demand position no greater than plus or minus 4% of the last set point. The test will measure the following parameters. Dead time. Step response time. Setting time. Average thrust torque in each direction of travel. Full stroke speed. Valve friction. The user LED on the selector knob will fast flash for 10 seconds. Flashing green indicates all parameters in acceptable limits. Flashing red indicates one or more parameters outside of acceptable limits.